Hello and welcome, I'm Mark, let's play some more Hearts of Iron. We are playing as Czechoslovakia. Before starting recording, I reorganized the army. All divisions are now split into brigades, into uh, two brigades divisions. These divisions will receive artillery and anti tanks. The, um, my motorized and uh, armored uh, guys are spearheads, at least in the beginning are organized like this. I don't have IC to build more light armor or uh, to give support brigades to uh, these divisions. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also, since I have a, I had a spare infantry brigade against my better judgment, I'm going to upgrade the, upgrade the brigade to motorized. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I just need to prioritize operation level organization because for some reason it's not prioritized. The rate use will also be good. Okay, so let's unpause. By the way, I just wanted to remind you that while the Let's Play with the Ottomans is still going on, that has priority over this Let's Play. So, once in a while we'll get a new episode, but it will only be... Um, re we will only have regular um, updates when the um, Let's Play with the Ottomans is over. Okay, let's accept this AI. Offers. And we're almost done with the militia. That's great. Okay, we now have you know we are now wasting I see. Okay, this will do for now. I want all these militia divisions ready. There you go. Now we are building only anti tanks. Well, this is that part where I'm going to uh, use one of the big exploits in this game. The biggest one um, that I know of. And um, before I do it, I, um, I have to say this. I never ever uh, needed it before because all countries that I play with play with, um, I have the time to develop and um, then face the strongest countries as Czechoslovakia, however, that I cannot do miracles. Countries like Albania, uh, Estonia and Finland, and but I had much more time to build up. The Czechs, that's not the case, and I cannot withstand cannot stop Germany and the axis that surrounds me um, cannot stop them with only 20 something divisions um, right now we have 33 because these are two brigade divisions but um, Czechoslovakia does not even have the needed manpower to mobilize properly let alone to build more let alone to build more so our biggest problem is the manpower, and uh, that's exactly what I did. 
I am, I've been building manpower. That's the exploit. Let's just allow automatic, automatic deployment. Because I don't want to deploy all those divisions manually. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I deployed the divisions for me. So now we have 72 divisions of militia. Let's build mining. Let's build some artillery to uh, use this manpower. So now what I'm going to do is to switch my um, boss from um, volunteer army to three year draft. And I'm going to upgrade all this munition to mountain. Get rid of the zero strength visions. Now since I have um, the, these brigades over here, I'm simply going to cancel them all by hitting, hitting control uh, left mouse button and our manpower should go to uh, almost 1000. There you go, 864. Now we have 864 manpower to build our uh, divisions. How did this work? It's quite simple. Um, because manpower cannot go below zero when I deployed all the, those divisions and I upgraded them to um, to a much more expensive kind of infantry mountain they require a 16 manpower cost a bit more than infantry and much more than munition. Since the manpower cannot go below zero when I and the game does not refuse to upgrade the brigades uh, when we don't have manpower, then all those divisions went to the production. All those brigades went to the production screen as if they had their quota of manpower. They had full manpower for uh, the um, our current. Uh, Conscription law, that was of course not true. So when I cancelled, I got all that manpower, uh, manpower that I never had. So there you go. Going back to volunteer army because it's much cheaper to build the units in the volunteer army. So from this point on, I'm going to build uh, lots of artillery. I think I need. I think I need an arm 20 more or less and I'm gonna start moving divisions my divisions however are going to be um, my, my main divisions are, go is, are going to be these ones uh, infantry, militia and two artillery the reason why I'm using militia is because militia requires less manpower uh, sorry, re militia requires less officers. As if you can, s if you see here, militia requires only ten officers, while infantry and artillery requires one hundred. I don't have enough uh, leadership to have a decent officer ratio. If I build divisions of infantry plus artillery, so that's why I'm relying on militia. This gives a bit of firepower to the division and only requires 10% of the officers uh, by comparison with the infantry brigade also um, this militia brigade will give us a little uh, small bonuses defending in uh, mountains, forests, woods and especially in urban terrain uh, so yeah, uh, not a big deal but everything helps let's put them in reserve I'm gonna need a lot of them. Let's add, let's add 50 for now. And continue. To check. I can declare war on Austria. 
our neutrality is going down and the threat towards Austria is going up so these guys are going to be the, one, the first ones to be attacked that's why I didn't pay much attention to the agriculture tech because I was not going to need the manpower I never did this before because it, because this is almost uh, cheating and I and I don't like cheating. So, um, but under these circumstances, I, I, I have to do it. Um, Germany is simply too powerful, and we are not only facing Germany. We'll be facing Germany, Italy, and uh, all these guys if I do nothing. Okay, I guess I'm overproducing supplies. That was a mistake. Not a big deal. Nope. Industrial production. Yeah, I still want to give you priority, but I want. Support weapons. Since it's ahead of time, I'm not going to research it. Damn, forgot to disable these. But uh, this AI deployed the anti tanks where it should, but just in case, I'm gonna deploy them manually. I'm building the anti tanks first because they are much cheaper. And that will increase um, cheaper in IC. That they will increase the artillery practical. That in turn will make the artillery cheaper. The expensive artillery cheaper. Education, awesome on leadership. Okay. Now we have four divisions of tanks, and mostly with um, motorized and uh, an armored car too. Soon we'll be able to go to war with um, Austria. So I will have to mobilize soon. Gonna create theater headquarters. Give all this area. And only the border with Austria to our automated theater headquarters. So I'm going to prioritize upgrades. I'm not going to let him reinforce. Okay. 
Grab that. That. Lack of troops, yeah, sure. I may have to mobilize soon. So the majority of anti tanks are ready. This will be the divisions um, that, will have, that will have to deal with uh, tanks, German tanks. I'm gonna keep at least one of these divisions in at each province. The rest will have artillery. I build an extra anti tank. Okay. This will still take a while. But not much. Accept this crap to see if they stop bugging me. Okay, I'm getting spies. And we are needing officers. A lot of things can go wrong, and uh, they probably will go wrong because I was defeated in my first playthrough. So yeah, I'm going to switch this to one year draft. As you can see here, it says, let me see if this will update all the production queue, if the old production queue will update after this, this finishes, I think it will. Yeah, it did. So, no point switching the laws. And we now we have radios. Awesome. We have cheaper artillery because the threats have been increased. And the UK wants me to join the Allies, of course I want. I want to remain neutral for as long as possible. Okay, the money. Okay, I have to mobilize. Culture advance. Okay, it's now time to mobilize and uh, to switch some laws. I'm gonna switch this to specialist training because um, these guys are going to reinforce 
with the best loss possible so they will gain a lot of experience. Let's prioritize upgrade still. They will reinforce. They should be putting something into officers. I know that my loss suck, but I have no other choice. I need to put something into officers. If I switch my loss to, um, if I increase the his law to uh, service by requirement, for example, I won't be able to build everything that I need to build. So I would much rather have a low, uh, lower officer ratio than not having the divisions needed to build to uh, face the Germans. But it's time for me to do a break. Thank you for watching. And take care.